Welcome back, everyone. Uh, today, I just wanted to uh, start this video um, with the web page from Facebook. Um, if anyone doesn't know, um, my stepson has autism, and he goes to a special needs uh, nursery uh, called Giving Hope Gardens. Um, it's the Buck Creek Foundation. It's a nonprofit organization that helps special needs, uh, I want to say kids, because um, they're not really kids, but, um, you know, special needs people. And it's near and dear to my heart. If you, I do have a couple of videos up showing when I was here to volunteer, I'm now on the board. Um, I'm the head of the uh, of the groundskeeping, so to speak, and building. Um, so I wanted, and we're having a fundraising gala uh, March 27th, and um, we're trying to raise money to actually buy the property among other things all the proceeds go directly to the kids there's no administrative fees uh, pretty much all of us put in our own money into these things as well so um, I wanted to uh, just show you um, if you you know if you find it Buck Creek Foundation this is what it looks like um, this is about the gala and there's a fundraiser um, that's actually my stepson Dylan right there he's 21 and they do a lot of good things with them as well as just working at the nursery. So I wanted to find where the, there's Dylan again. I wanted to find the fundraiser where you could click on it. I think I might've gone past it. Um, but if, if anybody out there that watches this um, thinks that that it's a nice thing, if you could donate even five dollars would be uh, would be much appreciated. Um, why am I having so much trouble finding this? I practiced before I did before I hit the record button and I was able to find it. Um, there's one. Um, there's a couple of them on here. This is one. It all goes to the same place. It was just a couple different uh, of us shared our own posts. Um, that's actually my cousin. Um, but if you could, uh, you know, if you guys wanted to go on here and click the donate, even like I said, for $5, um, would be much appreciated. So this video, as you probably figured out, is going to be, uh, me clearing a field, um, where they're going to start growing, uh, their own, uh, vegetables and flowers, um, connected to the nursery. So this is what you're going to see in this video. And I, I do appreciate it if any of you can go and uh, give what you can. This is the first time I've ever put this tractor on this particular trailer. So I'm not sure exactly where I want to put it. So that's why I'm going to be looking back and forth and moving it around a little bit. Uh, just to let you know, anybody that uh, hasn't seen this one before, this is a 2005 Jinma, which is a Chinese tractor, uh, 35 horse uh, with a 5 foot bush hog on the back of it. So it's been a good tractor, really. Never had to do anything to it since I bought it brand new in 2005.
Today's field trip adventure is back over to the uh, Giving Hope Gardens uh, Buck Creek Foundation uh, Nursery. If you remember, I was back here about 10 or 11 months ago, cleared out that whole area. Well, they've acquired this part of the land. This fence is going to get moved up to the road. It's all going to get fenced in. So I'm going to bush hog this, and you will see there were green greenhouses here, and there's all pipes in. That need to come out and these frames so this was a greenhouse here greenhouse there so that's what I'm gonna work on now I gotta rip all these boards out and the pipes that go with it but I want to get as much of the grass out of here as I can so I can see what I'm doing. This tractor has the worst turning radius of any tractor I've ever seen. It's a 2005, it's Chinese. Bought it brand new and it's been pretty good. I can't complain about it except for the turning radius. Terrible. notice here that the tail wheel is off the uh, the bush hog uh, in order to get over the for me to back between the wooden frames I had to take that off um, because it wouldn't go high enough over it and uh, I'd end up wrecking it it's hard to see it from this distance I should have zoomed in a little bit uh, better but there I'm ripping up those wooden frames so that's what I'm digging them out with the uh, with the te tooth bar on the bucket and then uh, picking them up, loading them up, and dumping them in the dumpster.
The hard part with these is they had a metal strip running down. It was a 2x8, I think it was, 2x6, 2x8. Um, and it had a metal strip that held the the uh, actual plastic, you know, the part that goes over the greenhouse. And I didn't bring a sawzall with me. Of course, I forgot it. And they were all tied together with this metal strip. So I'd break up the wood, but the metal would hold it. And you'd try to bend it, and you ended up with a big, long piece, or three pieces all stuck together. So it was it was a little bit more of a pain by myself to, uh, to get them loaded up in the bucket. I couldn't just scoop them up. I had to actually pick them up and lay them on the bucket.
for hours now, you know, getting all that wood out, but it would leave, still leaves the pipes in the ground. Uh, some of them would come out, as you might have seen in a couple of those clips, that I could rip them out, but they're in there pretty good, so um, that's what I'm going to show you now, getting out the pipes. That was uh, that took longer than there was anything. Try to get you a close up of there's those metal uh, pockets that held up the hoops on the uh, greenhouse. So I'm pulling them out with the chain. So try to get you a shot of that. Get out of the sun. There's a cinch chain on hooked up to the hitch. This front row I found uh, was really in some hard uh, hard ground, so it was much easier to smash it side to side with the sledgehammer uh, to be able to pull it out a little bit quicker rather than fighting with it, so that's what I did. That's about it. Uh, just repeat uh, probably 200 times was about how many I had to pull out. So I'm not going to keep showing each one, but you get the uh, the gist of what I was doing. Uh, drove right down the row. Um, most rows, except the one closest to the street, had two uh, two rows together, were about a foot apart from each other. Um, so I was able to drive down the middle pretty much. Some of them were a little bit. Uh, in there too tightly so I couldn't I'd have to angle a little bit to be more direct pull up but um, some of them I could just go right down the middle and pull them out so that's basically what I did for the rest of the for the rest of the day okay here's end of the day all the roads are done all the pipes are out spread around what 
I could. It's got to be all tilled up anyway. They want to grow in here, plant. So, like I said, that building's going to be coming down, that green one. And then there's one across the street. So we'll be doing that next week. But there's an update. And she's all loaded up and ready to go.